Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum. And in this video, I'm gonna do something very different. I'm not gonna play guitar. I'm gonna play a keyboard. I bet you didn't even know I owned a keyboard, huh? I bet you didn't even know that I play keys. I don't. <laughs> Despite this being the musical instrument that I've had in my life the longest, I've never actually learned to properly play keys or piano or anything like that. Uh, this keyboard was given to me uh, by my grandma, to me and my siblings when we were children. And we spent a couple decades really <laughs> wearing it out, really abusing this thing, jumping all over it, smashing on this thing, never quite learning how to play it, but having fun along the way. And now my kids do the same thing. I leave this out in a common area, they crawl all over it, they ha have fun turning on the beats and playing around with sounds and stuff like that. And uh, recently, my son Henry has been begging to be in another guitar video with me. I was like, hey, what if we put the keyboard on camera and we each pick some pedals and we have some fun playing the keyboard through some guitar pedals? And of course, he was all about it. So that chunk of the content is gonna be on the back end of this video. But I thought I would go through just kind of the basic features of this keyboard first for anyone that's not familiar with it. It's a Casio Tone 301. I'll turn it on. I'm running it through my two Princetons right now. Of course, it's loaded with a bunch of high-tech, high-fidelity sounds. You've got the organ. The flute. The oboe. Of course, there's also vibrato. And vibrato delay. Clarinet. Trumpet. You know in the 90s I was trying to play ska songs on this. You know it. Violin. Throw the vibrato on there. Cello. Piano. I think it's an important distinction to make in between the piano setting on here and the electric piano setting. I didn't quite understand that when I was a kid. I get now that one is trying to sound like a realistic piano when in fact it still sounds like an electric piano. Or the electric piano is probably trying to sound like a Rhodes or something like that. You got the harpsichord for all your hot hip hop tracks. This is Celesta. You'd think in all the decades of owning this, I would have been curious before this moment, but right now in this moment, it's the first time I've actually wondered what that's supposed to be. Accordion. Turn off that vibrato. Electric piano again. I like these last two settings a lot. Funny. And frog. few little things on piano, but I'm, I'm far from being a piano player. You've also got a whole rhythm section here. Let's go back to electric piano. You've got rock, slow rock, swing, bossa nova, march, waltz, uh, begum, bijuing, another thing, I don't know, and mambo. Yeah, that's a beat.
Something really fun about the rhythm section is you can actually combine them, like a bunch of them, like five or six at a time if you want to. Like we've got rock right now, we can mix that with mambo. You can throw in the variation switch. Let's combine slow rock with a march. Take off the variation. Swing in bossa nova. It's actually kind of fun. Like I said, <laughs> I'm not a piano player. But anyways, Henry and I grabbed a bunch of pedals. I've got a few of my favorites here. The section with Henry and I is every bit the chaos you expect it to be. So I figured I'd go through a few of the things that we did just because I thought they were fun and I want to recap them here. I've got the Kangaroo by Walrus, the Arpanoid by Earthquaker Devices, the Albi by Big Ear, and the Surfy Trend by Surfy Industries, just for a little fun on the end. So let's start off on this thing, whatever it is, Celesta. Now the Kangra is a fuzz. But it's also an envelope filter. I love that. And things get crazy when you run it through the rhythm. I'm going to turn off the fuzz. It sounds like a heartbeat. Then you throw on the Albi for some modulation and reverb. got the arpenoid here. This is an arpeggiator meant for guitar. Let's get something with some sustain on it. The accordion. play piano. I'll just use the arpenoid. Of course, the surfy trim. Just put a little vibe on there. much wacky fun. It's, it's great to have other instruments around that aren't necessarily your native instrument. Just to break ruts, to have fun, to let loose. The kids love messing around with this thing, so of course they keep it around. I've honestly been hoping that someday it's worth something. That hasn't happened yet, and this one is pretty beat up, although it's still fully functioning. Um, things like 
the fake plastic wood veneer is starting to pull off various parts of the keyboard, but it's been a fun part of the family for decades now, and I'm sure it's gonna continue to be. I'll stick it in a closet someday when the kids are done playing with it. Uh, until then, enjoy this random nonsense footage of me and Henry having all kinds of fun with the Casio Tone 301. Let's try Frog through the fuzz and the supernatural. Sounds cool. Let's put another one in there. I think we should try the other fuzz. This one? Yep. And maybe let's swap in the Albi for the reverb.
Let's try something really weird now. Ooh, that's fun. I'm gonna pick one too. All right, you can pick another one. That's a big noise. That sounds magical. I like that. Hold it. Sounds like a freaky monster. That sounds like a monster. That sounds more like a monster. It does sound futury. It sounds like outer space music, huh? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the gonculator. We'll we'll work this in in a minute. This is the Kangra by Walrus Audio, and it does something crazy. It's a it's another fuzz. I hate this thing. That was loud in my ear. All right, so there's the fuzz side of the Kangra. I hate then it, it. You hate it? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, watch this when I turn this side on. I love this. Are you done? I love I, it! Can I, can I try? Wow. 
I'm glad you're having fun. <laughs> I don't know how to play keyboard. I don't know how to do this. I'm just having fun. Same as Henry. I'm no different than Henry right now. I can't wait to gonkulate. You can't wait to gonkulate? I want that on a shirt. I can't wait to gonkulate. Alright, this is the last one, Henry. We'll throw the moth on their necks. Alright, one more fuzz. I don't know why, but at some point the keyboard stopped making noises for us. Oh, there it is. I said that was the last one, no more. He keeps talking me into just one more. Here, we'll swap out the ARP. What did you say? I need a lunch break. You need a lunch break? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Leave some comments for Henry, 
and I'll read them to him, or I'll make him try to read them. He's learning how to read. All right, bye everyone. Stay grounded. Say stay grounded. Look at the camera and say stay, stay grounded. grounded. Say it loud. Stay grounded! No, you have to look at the camera and say it. Stay grounded! <laughs>